what's going on everybody this is sanitary 103 always promoting clean eating and a clean and healthy lifestyle so i don't know if you've been following the news lately but if you haven't i'm going to fill you in and this is in regards to the latest health concern and it comes from consumer reports and basically what happened was that consumer reports did a study in which they took over 200 samples of various rice products we're talking about white rice brown rice rice based cereals and even baby food they took over 200 samples of these rice based products and found that the levels of arsenic exceeded what they believe the public should be intaking of the 200 plus samples that they tested they found that some products had as much as 8.7 micrograms of arsenic now what does that mean to you well the baseline that consumer reports did and it's a little bit debatable but i'll get into that in a second but basically the baseline that consumer reports did was that if a product had more than five micrograms of arsenic per liter of water it was considered unsafe so they found a majority of their samples above the 5.0 threshold which is causing a lot of concern so based on this recent consumer report they basically told the fda try to put a lot of pressure on the fda and basically told them you know we got to do some more testing and find out if we need to tell people how much rice they should be eating because it could be pretty fatal now real quick you know for people that don't know what arsenic is now i'm basically no expert by any means but i'm going to break it down to you as easy as possible it's basically a compound it's categorized into organic and inorganic the organic type of arsenic you don't need to worry about you know it, if you consume it it pretty much goes through your system not a big deal it's the inorganic arsenic that you got to worry about so you might be asking yourself what does arsenic and rice have to do with one another well basically arsenic is found in you know air it's found in other food and the two other components that it's found in primarily is water and soil and to make rice you need water and soil hence the potential arsenic risk now there's going to be arsenic levels in rice i don't think there's any way around to it but if the levels get too high then i think the public really needs to know how much rice they should be consuming so now that you have a quick lesson on arsenic let's backtrack quickly to what the fda is about to do now once again there we get a lot of pressure from consumer reports the fda countered back and said you know what we've been doing studies we actually did a much more bigger sample size the consumer reports did a 200 plus sample size the FDA has done a 1200 plus sample size and they released 200 of the 1200 samples and based on those tests they also found out that the uh, arsenic levels in the various 200 plus samples exceeded 5 micrograms so that is also a concern and very consistent with what consumer reports has suggested. So if consumer reports did their own study and found out the arsenic levels in rice based products was high the FDA released 200 samples of rice-based products that were high in arsenic. It's a pretty closed case shut, right? The FDA should be right on the ball, right? Well, not so fast. The FDA is, you know, they're kind of reluctant still right now. I don't know if that's such a good thing, but they said that the benchmark that Consumer Reports did, which is the five micrograms per liter of water, isn't quite accurate because you can't compare a unit of measurement such as water to rice because more people consume water than rice so that's where you know things get a little bit hazy they think that the benchmark it's at five micrograms according to consumer reports but there's too much leeway so until they get a general baseline in which everybody agrees upon they say that it's okay to consume rice now i just wanted to be real clear and state that the fda is not telling you to basically you know turn the other cheek you know go balls to the wall and consume you know rice in every meal they want you to be aware that the arsenic levels do exist in rice, but that you wanna make sure you get a nice, well-balanced diet. Now, this study from Consumer Reports is fairly new, so if you're kinda of reluctant and you still wanna eat some rice, like I said, the FDA recommends you having a well-balanced diet. Make sure to get a little bit of rice, but don't get too crazy. The other thing that you can do is, they say that if you make rice, make sure that prior to making the rice that you rinse it out with water uh, more thoroughly and that's supposed to reduce the arsenic levels by 30 percent and the other thing that you can do is use more purified water when making rice so for instance when i do a cup of brown rice lately i've been doing one cup of brown rice to three cups of purified water they're telling you to potentially even double it 
to make it one cup of brown rice to six cups of water. The rice in essence might be a little bit stickier and a little bit chewier, but that's a small consolation and you'll have a good peace of mind that the arsenic levels are definitely reducing. Alrighty, that about wraps it up. I hope that was very informative. I'll definitely keep you guys informed on the latest as the days go by. And just remember that if you're pretty scared about this situation, you know, you can omit it altogether or if that's too extreme, you can make sure just to eat smaller amounts and don't go too crazy, have a well-balanced diet and use the other techniques that they recommend to lower the arsenic levels in rice if you're going to consume, such as using purified water, make sure you rinse it in the purified water before cooking it and also to use more purified water when you're actually making the rice. The ratio of one cup of brown rice to maybe six cups of purified water as opposed to just three. Thanks once again for watching another video. The comments and questions are always welcome. I would definitely like to hear your guys' thoughts on this matter. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.